Okay, so all of the personal readings have been completed. If you would like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so I am going to first give, oh, no messages today, but I'm giving guidance for Divine Feminine and Masculine. Okay, so guidance for Divine Feminine. Guidance for Divine Feminine. Oop. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday time. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So some of you could be going on a holiday soon. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. So you could be in a relationship with someone you're just not feeling anymore, right? It's unrequited love. So let's ask for some guidance or for some clarity on who this may be, okay? And they're telling you to clearly decide who you want. So why is unrequited love here? Who is the unrequited love for, with Divine Feminine? Could be an earth sign for some of you. Some of you, it could be someone here who is focused on work a lot. You feel stuck. But this person, you feel like you definitely have a choice to make. You could be a Virgo here with Hermit. Hermit. What? Hermit. <laughs> You're thinking long and hard about the decision. Definitely decision between two. Okay, stuck. Yep, again, they're telling you that you need to choose King of Wands. Take action towards which one? Divine Feminine, yes. So that's... Somebody here you're just not feeling anymore, and there's another one you are, so... Make the decision. All right. Messages for Divine Masculine. Messages for Divine Masculine. Messages for Divine Masculine. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and vis visualizations help bring you together. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? So who is divine masculine reconciling with? Obviously, this is divine feminine, but <laughs> let's get some clarity. Who is divine masculine? Oh, oh, seven of swords could be reconciling, could be trying to sneak off to reconcile with this person, could be a water, you, you are, you could be a water sign. Okay, taking action. Your divine feminine could be a fire sign here with the queen of wands. Okay. Or at least they're coming in as a fire sign. Right. So what's the sinkiness? Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? You're being patient about this reunion. So you're having patience. There's something here. You could be being sneaky behind the scenes. You're definitely being sneaky. You're being patient before going into union. So why is the sneaky and patience here? <clears throat> What's causing this person to be patient? Money. Mm. Money. Yeah. It's like you intuitively know this, you're going to be back with this person, but you fear that for some reason you're not going to have a lot of money. Why? You have a lot of stress and anxiety about being broke. Oop, oop. Page of Swords, King of Pentacles. You could be trying to work, you could be working on a deal or something, waiting on a lot of money to come in. I definitely feel like you're trying to get to a place where you have a lot of money and then this is going to make you feel emotionally okay. And then that's when you're going to take action. Yep. That's when you're going to move forward out of this third party energy. 
but you don't want to be broke. Well, that's crazy. So both of you are reconciling with each other, obviously. All right, so what's the current energy for Divine Feminine? What's the current energy? Oop. Divine Feminine, you're scared. Scared of what, what? Why is this here? Oop. You're scared of being a team so you're resisting this being a team with who you're scared of being single this may feel like a burden so you're resisting it i think you intuitively know you're going to be single very soon it's going to be good for you okay it's going to be good for you. I feel like you're manifesting it, but you're resisting it because of a fear, which is irrational. Because they're telling you that you're not going to be, you're going to be happy and in a better place. So I don't think this is a bad thing. So what is coming? What is uh, future energy for divine feminine? Future energy for divine feminine. Future energy for Divine Feminine. <laughs> Reconciling with this King of Cups. Could be a water sign or it could just be someone who is, you know, embracing being very emotional, right? Opening their heart to you. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they um, will finally, when this time comes, it will be divine timing. Uh, this is something that both of you have manifested moving forward wow yes yeah this is great very very beautiful energy here okay this is a long time coming this is fated destined to happen so basically meaning you can't fuck this up <laughs> it's going to happen regardless there's nothing you can do so what is future energy for divine masculine and I know a lot of times people are like, wait a second, but you say that we have free will. Yes, you do have free will, right? Meaning <laughs> if this person comes back, right? If you're single and this person comes back, your free will is fuck off or sure, I want to have a relationship with you, right? Nobody can force you to be in a relationship. But what's faded, what's going to happen no matter what, is that I do see you being single and I do see this person coming back. So I'm not going to... Okay, it is what it is. What is the future energy for divine masculine? Future energy for divine masculine. There is a burden coming ahead. Oh, I said future energy. I meant current energy. Oop. <laughs> current energy for divine masculine. What is the current energy for divine masculine? Oh, shit. Okay, a lot of stuff going on with divine masculine. He's all over the place. He or she is all over the place. All right, let's shuffle these again. Oh, Lord. A lot of stuff on, the, on their mind is what they're saying. Yeah, very low vibration right now, very stressed. Current energy for Divine Masculine. So, going towards a divorce. 1,000%. Very stressed out. Being sneaky about money because you're walking away. Definitely working on something here that is hidden from somebody else. Okay, that's current energy. What is the future energy? This is why the cards tell you people, to you people, tell you guys, sorry, <laughs> tell you guys that let go of control issues because 
things are going to fall away and things are going to change, right? Things will change and things will fall away. You need to just embrace it and have faith and, you know, keep going, keep focusing on yourself, keep saving money, keep raising your children, keep trying to make yourself happy, right? Work through your, your stuff that you need to work through. Um, because what's destined to happen what's on your higher path is going to happen, right? It's going to happen. All right. What is the future energy for divine masculine? What's hidden? Yes, this is hidden from you. You don't see this coming. I knew they were going to do that. What you don't see coming come in <laughs> my god i'm being a dork today what you don't see coming is you being single and the strength that you're going to have when you're single you're manifesting this even though you're scared as hell about this you're still manifesting it but you're scared you have stress you feel disappointed to a degree but you still want this okay it could be an air sign here the king of swords energy could be two people. I have an air sign and a water sign. King of Swords, King of Cups. Okay, both of you could, two different Divine Masculines doing this at the same time. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it is. Two, both of you are doing the same thing. So just, they want to be very clear I'm talking to a water sign and an air sign. Yeah. So, both of you are married, obviously, working to become single. Why is the Ten of Cups here? That you're realizing you want an, a balance. Both of you are realizing, or all of you, however many there are, you're awakening to the fact that you want a balanced relationship. You want a balanced connection. You are going to end up talking about this very soon, and this is going to be a tower. This is going to be a tower. The person you're connected to may resist this, but then come to an understanding. You're right. You're right. We need to let this go. You're going to be sad about it, both of you, because it is a divorce. But you're going to move forward and you're going to reconcile with your person that you're meant to be with, the star. Okay, so that's what I have. That's what I have. All right. So let's see what each individual person needs to focus on well people okay i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna get some cards from this deck so what does divine feminine need to focus on at this time what does divine feminine need to focus on freedom yep going towards new opportunities full that's the full okay and it's going to be an opportunity with someone who is at a distance from you. You will be creating stability, letting go of toxic patterns, creating stability with this person. So that's what you need to be worried about, going towards new opportunities at this time. Oh, oh. Creating stability with this person in some capacity. All right. What does the Divine Masculine need to be focused on at this time? Being nurturing and compassionate. Being nurturing and compassionate when ending this relationship. So don't be rude. Don't be nasty. This relationship is coming to an end. You need to be nurturing and compassionate during the end of it. All through it, really. Okay. This is a storm. You need to be able to release this maturely in a loving way and be open to receiving better what you want 
be open to receiving what you expect, what you value, what you feel is, is, is more aligned with you and who you are. Okay. All right. So messages for both twins. Messages for both twins. Separation. Surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation. The highest levels of love always serve and without conditions. Acceptance. Accepting yourself and others as they are liberates. Sorry. Liberates patterns of resistance and open to flow. This connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond. <sighs> I think you're kind of, I think the message for both of you is that you're, you're, you may be trying to think logically about the situation and you're removing your emotions from the situation, but you don't, you need to listen to your heart and follow your heart. If you're not feeling it, if your heart isn't there, you need to move on. Okay. Except that, you know, you may not be right for the other person. You, you know, I, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Right. You need to move on. Okay. Accept that. All right. And this connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond. And also there is too much distance to maintain this connection and keep going. Perseverance. Get out of your head. Told you. And into your heart. So the, your twin is at a distance from you and the person you're with is a karmic. That's what they're saying to these people. To you guys. Okay. So let's get some messages. I haven't used this deck in a while. Let's get some messages from your twin. What does the twin, oh, Lord, what does the twin want to say? To the divine feminine, what does the twin want to say to divine feminine? We connect in the astral. Unexpected blessing is coming. You are a phoenix rising. And they are avoiding their situation at this time. And messages for divine masculine from the feminine. Messages from to Divine Masculine from the Feminine. You are a highly sensitive empath. She wants you to know that for whatever reason, he or she. Transformation is not easy. They want you, Divine Ma Feminine wants you to know change is not easy. They are clearing, Divine Feminine is clearing past life traumas at this time. And Divine Feminine says they are more spiritual because of you. Obviously, you awaken them. So, all right. That is what I have. And I will see everyone tomorrow.